Hello everyone, this is Rajavi Jinjala. I'm an educator at an academy. You can follow me on an academy learning app where you can find my other course as well. And this lesson is about the failure of bearings. And please rate, review, and share the video and also subscribe to an academy YouTube channel. Welcome again to bearing failure. This is very important to know that the type of failure occurs in any bearing. Then only we can go for the ways which can be used for the safety of these bearing from those failures. Okay. Now we are going to see the different types of bearing failures in this lecture. So let's talk about the types of bearing failures. There are two basic types of bearing failures. They are breaking of parts like races or the cages and the surface destruction. And the breaking of the parts means the, the balls in that uh, bearings and also the surface de destruction. Here they have given only the races and the cages because the balls in the bearing can be replaced. Okay, So that's why the the breaking of the parts of the bearings will only for the breakage of the races or the cage in that ball bearing and here we have the surface destruction where the surface the smoothness of the surface is destroyed under the application of the loadings okay so these are the main types of main types of bearing failures and the fracture in the outer race of ball bearing conquers due to overload right and when the bearing is misaligned, the load acting on the on some balls or rollers is sharply increases and even may crush them. So this is also going to break the races or the cages of the ball bearing. And the failure of the cage is caused due to the centrifugal force acting on the balls. When the shaft is rotating, the, the joint, the ball bearing along with the shaft will undergo rotation, right? And the rotation causes the balls to undergo the centrifugal force so due to these centrifugal force the cages will be damaged okay so the complete breakage of the parts of the ball bearing can be avoided by selecting the curved ball bearing and the adjusting the alignment between the axis of the shaft and the housing and the operating within permissible speeds so these permissible speeds are the speeds at which the ball bearing is not going to fail so now we are going to discuss about the different types of the failures in these ball bearings so the principal types of surface wear in ball bearings the main failure of the ball bearing is due to the surface wear so the different types of surface wear in bearings are abrasive wear corrosive wear and the pitting scoring now we are going to discuss about these the surface Wears of wears in bearings. Here we have abrasive wear. Abrasive wear occurs when the bearing is made to operate in an environment contaminated with dust, foreign particles, and the rust or spatter. So this is due to the environment conditions where the where the bearing is going to be in the service. Okay, and the safety measures for this type of abrasive wear is provision of oil seals and increasing the surface hardness and the use of high viscosity oils when the oils have high viscosity there is a little space for the contaminants to be stay and there is little possibility for the contaminants to penetrate penetrate through that oils if they have high viscosity then the abrasive wear can be eliminated in those bearings next we have the corrosive wear the corrosive wear of the bearings parts is caused by the entry of water or moisture in the bearing so due to moisture or the entry of water the corrosive wear will be seen in these bearings and it is also caused due to corrosive corrosive elements present in the extreme pressure additives that are added in the lubricant oils so for the lubrication purpose we add the extreme pressure additives which are also responsible for the corrosive wear in the bearings okay and the safety measures will be providing complete enclosure for the bearing free from external contamination then only there is no entry for the water and also the moisture in the bearing and selecting proper additives so selecting proper additives gives the less corrosion in the bearings and replacing the lubricating oils at regular intervals will provide us less corrosive wear in the bearings 
Next we have the pitting. Pitting is the main cause of failure of anti-friction bearings. Okay, so the pitting is surface fatigue failure which occurs when the load on the bearing parts exceeds the surface endurance strength of the material. Okay, and this type of destruction is characterized by pits which continue to grow resulting in complete destruction of the bearing surface. So first they form pits which are the small spaces or the cracks in the surface of the cage or the races and they will on on surface these pits will continue to grow result in complete destruction of the bearing surface okay and safety measures for this type of uh, failure in the bearings is given by product by increasing the surface endurance strength and it can be improved by increasing the surface hardness so we have to increase the surface uh, hardness of the bearings then the endurance will be increased therefore we can overcome the pitting of the bearings okay next we have scoring excessive surface pressure high surface speeds and inadequate supply of lubricant results in breakdown of the lubricant film and this result in excessive frictional heat and overheating the contact surface right so see here due to less lubrication and inadequate uh, supply of lubricant oils and the high surface speed and the excessive surface pressure pressure the surface of the races of the cage will undergo excessive frictional heat and they will due to this friction heat they will undergo overheating the contact surface of these races and scoring is a stick slip phenomenon in which alternate welding and shearing takes place at high spots so due to these these excessive surface and these the inadequate supply of lubricants there will be the excessive frictional heat and due to this excessive friction heat the stick slip phenomenon will be seen where the alternate welding on the shearing between the the rolling rollers and the the races will be seen so this is called as the scoring of the ball bearings so here we have the safety measures scoring can be avoided by selecting the parameters such as surface speed pressure and the flow of lubricant in such a way that the resulting temperature at the contacting surface is within permissible limits when the temperature is within the permissible li limit therefore there is no chance of increasing the frictional heat or the overheating of the surface and the scoring of the bearings okay so this is the these are the different types of bearings be, different types of bearing failures and the safety measures to be taken to keep them safe from these type these different types of failures thank you